COVID-19 caused export turnover in the leather and footwear industry to fall by nearly 30 percent in 2020. This year, along with other agreements, the UK VFTA provides leverage for businesses in the industry. When the agreements came into effect, the increase in exports started to help offset the losses of the past year. Given the preparations made by businesses, we expect to meet market requirements. Footwear businesses are very much looking forward to export growth in the time to come. While businesses are facing many problems from the COVID-19 pandemic, the trade agreement with the UK is expected to help stabilize the market and help the businesses recover and develop. However, the technical standards and quality requirements for goods imported into the UK are very high. For industries such as footwear and textiles, rules of origin are a pressing issue that must be met to ensure tariff preferences under the agreement. <laughs> We first bought next in raw materials and from rules of origin. This bought next may be obstacles in the short term, but in the long term they will be a driving force for us to establish a supply chain to ensure the origin of raw materials for production. Many government and textile enterprises are now emphasizing product quality and environmental protection regulations, a representative of the Ministry of Industry and Trade said. And Vietnamese enterprises who wish to enter large markets cannot ignore sustainable production. Enterprises should pay greater attention to standards relating to sustainable development, environment and workers. One of the more important points is to ensure stable quality when doing business with foreign partners. According to calculations, Vietnam will save 151 million US dollars on import taxes each year when exporting to the UK, combined with market access opportunities from the UK VFTA. Exports to the UK and Northern Ireland will continue to be promoted strongly even during the ongoing pandemic.